Hi, Kazala. This is for number seven. Differentiate implicitly to find dy dx, then find the slope of the curve at a given point. So the equation that I have is 2x squared minus 3y squared equals negative 5. I'll find dy dx first, okay? But first of all, let me copy this. Yeah, I did. Okay, so if I find the derivative of each term with respect to x, this is what I write down first, right? This is easy, this part right here. That's just going to be 4x, right? Derivative of 2x squared is 4x. But the second term, okay, this, this is going to be minus, minus because of that minus sign, 6y times dy dx. And on the other side, it's simply going to be 0. I'm going to solve this equation for dy dx. So first, I will subtract 4x from both sides. That will get me negative 6y times dy dx equals negative 4x. Now, let's divide both sides by negative 6y. If I do that, that's cancelled out. We have our finally dy dx equals, well, we can at least simplify this fraction. Negative 4 over 6 is negative 4 over negative 6 is negative 2 third, right? So answer is 2x over 3y. So I'm going to go ahead and type this in first because I want to see if we got this right first. 2x over 3y. And let me click on check answer. And we're going to now plug it in. I don't know what you meant by this looked different. Oh, the point looks a little different. Square root of 2 and square root of 3. That's just your x. This is your y. So if I plug in x in here, okay, that will be 2 times square root of 2. The bottom of the fraction is 3 times y value of square root of 3. And that is it. It's just ugly. That's probably why you thought it was a little bit different. So 2, oh, I need a fraction. 2 square root of 2 over 3 square root of 3. It's not that different. It's just uh, the order pair was irrational. But you can just plug them in. That's what you can do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this one and send this to you first.